Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to add a path component to your lightning page. So there's lots of different reasons why you'd wanna use a path. Um, most frequently, you'll see them on opportunities and leads to show you kind of what stage they're in or what their status is. You can also use this on custom objects as well. Like if you have a project management app or a project object, you'd be able to have a pick list be converted into a path so then you could see the status of the project. But today we're gonna go hop into leads and I've actually, I've removed the path that is usually here a standard from leads, but I'm gonna show you how to add it. So I'm going to go from the gear icon and go to edit page. All right, now this will bring us to the uh, the page and show us all the different components that we can add or that we currently have on our page. If you scroll down here, what we can do is we can look for path. And these typically are going to be alphabetized. These are just standard ones. I'm gonna add it back to where it had been. And then you can show the format here. You can change up how it is seen or what the visibility of the component is here. And yeah, I'm gonna hit save. And then typically it would give you um, an activation. You need to activate this for a specific group. Um, how you would do that, currently it's set as the org default so everyone can see this in my org. This is a trailhead org. So if you're doing this for your production environment, just be sure to test it out before you go ahead and deploy it. Other ones that you can do are for apps. So if you're in the sales app or the service app, you can um, assign it as the default page layout or the lightning page component layout is what I should say. And then you can also do it based upon a certain set of criteria. So combination of apps, record types and profiles. So if you only wanted certain people to see it or only if you were on like closed leads or open leads, then you'd be able to differentiate that. I'm going to hit close and then hit back and then it should be available for us to see. Here we are. We have the path right here again. This. This does work for uh, custom objects, but you will need to set it up in paths. Um, and that would be in your quick find to go ahead and set that up. But that is a quick tutorial on how to add this path to your lightning page. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. You can check out the courses in the description box or on salesforceupskill.com. You can Connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at Emily Call MBA. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.